First, let's clear up any confusion, because that is not what this bike sounds like. You are hearing what a normal V-Twin sounds like in the background. This is what the all-electric Impulse TT sounds like. Alright, here we go. What's going on guys? It's Chris Model Academics, and we've got another special one for you this afternoon. Today we're here with Victory Motorcycles, and we're going to take a look at, as well as a ride on, the electric bike, the Victory Impulse TT. Let's go. But before we go on our ride, let me enlighten you with some background about the Zero Emissions bike. Painted titanium silver and Havasu red, this hooligan muscle style performance bike is basically a mildly modified Bramo, an all electric motorcycle brand that was acquired by Victory's parent company, Polaris. And because this is arguably the quickest, though not fastest bike in the Victory lineup, you see that there are some parts on this bike engineered for go, and not just show. Component wise, you'll find fully adjustable 43mm inverted front forks with an adjustable direct acting single shock and rear. The front wheel is a 17 by 3.5 inch cast aluminum example wrapped in a 12070 series Continental Sport Attack 2 tire. And the rear is 17 by 4.5 inch and shod with a matching 160 section tire. Brembo handles the braking with four piston radial mounted calipers clamping down on dual 310mm floating disc up front and a dual piston hydraulic caliper and single disc setup in back. Because this is an electric vehicle, it does have regenerative braking to recoup some energy, but more on that in a bit because I'm pretty sure you're ready to hear about the powertrain. It is a liquid cooled internal permanent magnet AC electric motor that makes 54 horsepower and 61 pound feet of torque. Your left foot controls a traditional 6 speed chain drive gearbox with multi plate hydraulic activated wet clutch. A Bramo Power lithium ion battery provides the energy and has a 10,400 watt hour capacity. It is also reportedly the fastest charging battery on the market, completing a full charge in just 3.9 hours using a level 2 charger. Level 1 chargers will take 8 hours. The digital gauges are clear and easy to read, providing info for speed, tack, odometer, gear position, energy consumption, battery and system status, and estimated range. And the mirrors are decent enough for a performance bike. Finally, packaging it all together is a sport bike style aluminum beam frame, giving the Impulse TT a curb weight of 470 pounds. So now let's gear up, start her up, or <laughs> I guess turn her on, and see how she rides. Does it need to be in neutral when I start it? Absolutely not. All There's right. Nothing to disengage. All right. Because yep, I'm in first now. Here we go. <laughs> One of the biggest challenges for me riding this electric bike was the fact that you do not use a clutch when pulling off or coming to a stop. Just choose any of the first three gears, give it some throttle, and you're good to go. First gear engages a little abruptly, but second and third are smoother. As a matter of fact, Victory Rep stated it's possible to ride all day in just third gear alone with the motor's decent torque and the gearing's 80 mile per hour potential. Emphasizing this is the fact that the transmission is a two down, four up configuration with neutral between second and third gears. And while there currently are no performance numbers available, the Impulse TT accelerates strong. Not quite like a full fledged sport bike strong, but it's quick enough. Top speed maxes out a little over 100 miles per hour, though I kept it under 80 on the local roadways. When the road begins to curve, the Impulse TT handles much more neutral than I was expecting and leans easily into corners. Surprisingly, my position while riding felt a little cramped, even for my average height, but maybe I'm just getting old. The seat on the other hand is only 31 and a half inches tall, making it easy for me to get my leg over it and was surprisingly comfortable during my ride. The Brembo brakes are strong, working well for stopping, but they do make me wonder how much energy they are able to recoup during the regenerative function, because that was imperceptible. There are some upgraded performance forks available in the accessory catalog, but the standard adjustable suspension on this bike was tuned fine for sporty around town riding. Even the minimal fairings compensated well for the lack of windscreen, directing air around me. To be honest, it's a bike I could see myself riding all weekend, with the exception of two issues. First, the motor whine, while soft at low speeds, could get slightly annoying on major roads, yet it wasn't loud enough to let other commuters know you were close by. 
The second and most obvious is its range. You basically get 1 mile per 1% of charge, allowing for a maximum of 100 miles at a time. That's not much when you're having fun. And remember, it takes just about 4 hours to charge at best. But range is a problem with all electric vehicles, and as infrastructure continues to grow, Victory is ready for you with its all-electric Impulse TT for just under $20,000. I'm Chris Model Academics. Thanks for watching.